Well, back to my take. That's the editorial I ranted on about at the top of the hour. I said, I believe people are fed up with the types of personal character attacks that are littered throughout the new Comey book that's going to be released next week. We've seen some experts from it. By the way, the president tweeted his thoughts this morning. Listen to this. James Comey is a proven leaker and liar. He's a weak and untruthful slime ball who was, as time has proven, a terrible director of the FBI. His handling of the crooked Hillary Clinton case and the events surrounding it will go down as one of the worst botched jobs of history. It was my great honor to fire James Comey. No restraint there whatsoever. Joining us now, David Bossett, the author of that book, Let Trump Be Trump. David is with us now. Look. I said right at the top of the show, I don't think the former top guy at the FBI should, should be writing a book like this that is full of character attacks and personal attacks on the president. I, I think it's terrible. It, it's disgraceful is what it is. It's a, this is a political hit job by a political person. That's all this is, nothing more, nothing less. And this should be on the fiction shelf. Look, this guy has no facts or evidence that he's bringing forward in this book, and he really couldn't because... Got, people like James Comey know that that can jeopardize investigations and jeopardize cases. So he didn't do that. He, this is all about the president didn't like the shiny apple I put on his desk. Right. This is outrageous on its face, and James Comey is, is, is a disgrace for having done it. And I'll tell you, he, it just goes, look, he picked Bill Clinton's communications director, at ABC to sit down with. I mean, it's interesting. The, every aspect of this thing is political. Yeah, and it's personal. And that's it's what really very gets personal. to me. He goes on about the length of the president's tie. Did you see that? I don't know whether you saw that bit or not. He's, he says that the president has these um, white, bright white half moons under his eyes, and that allegedly comes from wearing tanning goggles. He just had to get that kind of yeah. nonsensical detail in there, personally insulting. And he called him a mob boss. Yeah, that's an outrage. First of all, President Trump is the furthest thing from that. He is a warm, kind person, and that's how that's the man that I know. But let me tell you, you know, Louis Free, when he was FBI director, compared the Clinton White House, the Clinton White House, on a case that I was working on, to investigating the mob uh, here in New York when he was the U.S. attorney here. So this has been done before, except for in that case, there were 65 people who fit, took the Fifth Amendment or fled the country. You have a Exactly zero in this case. You know what's going to happen this weekend? The media is going to be all over these silly little personal details. I can see the Trump haters just giggling away at the half moons under his eyes. It's but but the, the personal attacks fall flat by midweek. If there was ev if there was something in the book of substance, that would be important. Well, calling this book him a is, slime this... ball doesn't really work either. But the point is, is that he politicized the FBI according to FBI agents, Without and they're question. upset about that. Mm. And, and he's going to continue to do it through the promotion of this book to make a quick buck. That's who James Comey right. has turned into. Yeah. All right, David Boss, it's one of these days. Are you going to tell us how you really feel? <laughs> and you're going to present I wish I had some somewhere. money for him to, to, <laughs> to manage, because yes. that really sounded good. Oil, we can talk. oil, we can talk. Exxon. <laughs> this is David Bonson. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Thanks very much indeed, sir. Appreciate Thank it. You.